arrived at Campanile, the partner hotel. We got the shuttle bus into Disney Village straight away and checked out World of Disney and I grabbed my 30th lounge fly that I wanted. We had a look around all the shops and we had some food at Earl of Sandwich and then we walked around Hotel New York, Art of Marvel. We had a drink in the Skyline Bar and then we decided to walk back to the partner hotel through the back of Sequoia Lodge and past Santa Fe. It was an easy walk, it took about half an hour. We checked out early in the morning, went straight to Newport Bay. We picked up our park tickets and we walked straight through Disney Village to the parks for our first Disney Park Day. We arrived just in time for Extra Magic Time to start, so we were straight in. We saw all the 30th anniversary things. Mickey and Minnie were there waving us in as we came in. Uh, it was a bit chilly, the sun was out and the castle was looking really beautiful in the sun. We walked down Main Street, we had some pictures. We went and rode on Pirates of the Caribbean as our first ride, which seems to be a tradition for us. We went on Dumbo in Fantasyland afterwards. And we're both plus size, so we were surprised we both fit into one Dumbo together. Had a ride on the carousel, we went on the Snow White ride, we walked through the castle, we looked at the stained glass things, we woke the dragon up from underneath the castle, and then we got our spot for Dream and Shine Brighter, which was our first time seeing it, and it was amazing, it didn't disappoint. Then we went on a ride on the Molly Brown around Big Thunder Mountain. We were sad Big Thunder Mountain wasn't open because that's our favourite. Afterwards we went and met Phantom Mickey outside Phantom Manor before we actually rode on Phantom Manor. And we went back up Main Street to the Main Street Station for the Disneyland Railroad. We went the full loop around Disneyland on the train, come back off on Main Street. We went and checked out some of the shops before our lunch reservation at Walt's Restaurant, which is also on Main Street. When we got in Waltz, we had a window seat and we got to see Dream and Shine Brighter Parade come past while we was having our lunch. And that was so magical. That made my trip, I think. We both had the chicken pot pie for a starter. Scott had the chili con carne for a main. I had the roast chicken. And then for dessert, I had an anniversary cake, which came with a little glass dome over it. And Scott had a sundae. We walked around the parks afterwards and ended up in the caves in Adventureland. We got a little bit lost. And as we came out, we ran into Captain Jack Sparrow. Newport Bay rooms have a nice nautical theme to them with the Mickey headboards. Their beds were really comfortable too. We met Pluto in the lobby before we went back to the parks. Everything was looking really pretty with all the lights coming on as it started to get dark. And the wait time was down on Peter Pan, so we went on that. Scott went and picked up a Casey's Corner order for us and I got us a spot for D-Light and Illumination in Central Plaza. So we had a pretty good view of the nighttime shows. When the projections finish and everyone starts heading out the park, it's a bit crazy. So we like to hang back and wait for the parks to clear out. And this is always a good tip if you want some pictures with the castle. I love staying behind late 